Hey guys, welcome to No Pavement Needed. And Tommy, as you know, the original plan was to drive a mid-size, full-size, and a heavy duty truck across America off-road, but because of the virus, plans have changed. So what are we doing instead? We've got the Chevrolet Silverado Trail Boss. We're gonna do one of the most beautiful off-road passes in Colorado called Imogene Pass. That's coming up right now. Let's say you're visiting from California and you want the locals to think that, well, you're a local. There's a dead giveaway and that is these two words. So it's not ORE, even though it starts with an O, it's URE, and it's not Imogene, even though it starts with a I, it's Imogene. Remember that, then you too can be a local. really hard to see over the corners, right? So it, it's it's harder to place this accurately on the trail. Right, you're clear the train. This video is brought to you by our friends over at Onyx Off-Road. Onyx is a super cool app. It's a navigation system that makes sure you never get lost when you're out exploring in the Colorado Rockies. Yeah, the cool thing about it is uh, it doesn't need cell service. Yeah. You download the map and then when you're running Imogene and there are all those different ways you could go behind us. You don't get lost. You don't get lost. How cool is that? Check out Onyx on your app store. So Tommy, before we hit Imogene, you know, we've had that Silverado Trail Boss for almost 10,000 miles, and I've kind of fallen in love with it, but there is one thing that just seems wrong. Tell them. Well, the stock wheels and tires kind of look like hockey pucks, and we did air them down, so they should be fine out for the trail, but visually, they're just too small. Yeah, I mean, I know it says Trail Boss on the side, uh, but with the standard from the factory set up, it's more like a trail intern. I'm going assistant to the trail manager, if you get that reference. So Tommy, we're starting Imogene, and I gotta say, this is probably one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful, pass in Colorado. It's amazing out here, and it, on a nice sunny day like this, it's going to be a, a fun day on the trail. Yeah, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna drive through a river, we're gonna get to go up and above tree line, we're gonna go in a ghost town, we're gonna go on a shelf road, which I hate, Yeah. and all on one trail. Now, in the first episode of the series, we took the Gladiator up and over Black Bear Pass. Uh, and of course, we're trying to figure out what's the best off-road truck. Is it a mid-size, is it a full-size, or is it a heavy-duty truck? So let's talk about the Silverado Trail Boss. Now, it does have off-road pages, as you can see here, so I can see whether the truck is tilted too much or too little. I do have an inclinometer, but that's about all I get. In the big screen, I do have a camera, but I don't have a front-facing camera, only a rear-facing camera. So in terms of off-road tech, I'm going to give the Silverado probably a 3 out of 10. However, it does have the G80 in the back. That's not, you know, a lot to put up against all that. No, but we do have a good set of Goodyear tires. We've got a lot of ground clearance. And, you know, it doesn't really compare directly to the Gladiator. We lifted it. It's got you know, locking front rear diffs. It's got disconnectable sway bar. Dad, it doesn't compare at all to the Gladiator. There's just two completely different leagues. But, if you are buying a full-size truck like this, you also have a lot more capability than that Jeep. So you can tow 
over 9,000 pounds. Uh, you've got a lot more room to kind of spread out. You can drive off cliffs and hit your butt pretty hard. Ouch. Um, Let me turn off my little beepers here. Thank you. Oh, that's very useful. Uh, so they're very different trucks, but it's kind of just answering the question, can you still have a good day out on the trail on a long wheelbase full-size truck? Yeah, and uh, even though Gladiator is much more capable, I would say this is a much more comfortable truck. Just the Gladiator is small, which is great for kind of trying to navigate these narrow shelf roads and in between trees. Uh, but, uh, you know, when you're just kind of driving along, it's not as comfortable. The seating position is painful for me being a little bit on the taller side uh, and here I just feel much more at home. Now the one thing I don't like about this truck is it's very square uh, and it's really hard to see over the corners right so it, it's it's hard to place this accurately on the trail and you know precisely pick your line versus some other vehicles where you can actually see where the corners are. So Tommy in every episode of No Pavement Needed, we're going to stash a No Pavement Needed shirt. Yep. And our friends at Ridge Wallet gave us this Ridge Wallet uh, to hide as well. Did you know this thing's bulletproof, by the way? <laughs> yeah, these are super sleek, low-profile wallets. They look way better than my old-school, over-inflated, plastic, rubbery, leather. thing. You could choke thing. a cow with that thing. What yes, the hell? I know. These are much cooler. Anyway, so we're going to stash these somewhere along Imogene, uh -huh. but last time we did it on Motor Mountain USA, we actually gave away the uh, GPS coordinates of where they were, yeah. and that turned into a race. Okay. We don't want that. Okay. So this time, the rules are a little different. We're going to stash this Tupperware container with the wallet and the shirt, and we're not going to tell you exactly where it's at, but what we are going to do is plant a Colorado flag uh -huh. within, let's say, 20 feet of where this is at. Okay. So first, you're going to have to find out where the Colorado flag is, and there'll be hints in the video. Yep. And then somewhere within 20 feet of the flag will be this. So good luck finding, well, the wallet and the t-shirt, and uh, let the fun begin. For the most part, Imogene is, you know, a rough dirt road with uh, patches of uh, rock crawliness, and uh, this is one of those patches. So we'll see how uh, that G80 does going up the shelf. It's steep, uh, and uh, yeah, it's going to give this truck a little bit of uh, a little bit of trouble, I think. We shall see. So far, so good. Now uh, here's where hopefully. Locker. Well, you know what? I was wrong. It didn't care. <laughs> See, that's what I love about the trail boss. You just earn your uh, pay grade of that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Tommy, we are somewhere on Imogene and there's a hint in this shot somewhere, but why don't you go hide the Ridge wallet and the t-shirt. There's my card in there, so if you get it, shoot me an email, take a picture of yourself that you found it so that people are looking for it. I am planting the Colorado flag right here. That means that it is within 20 feet of where I planted it and hopefully, uh, yeah, you'll find it. If you're the first person to find the Ridge Wallet and the t-shirt, take the flag, take the t-shirt, take the Ridge Wallet, take a picture of yourself and send it to us. We'll put it up on our community page, make you YouTube famous, and 
other people will know that, well, it's been found, so they won't go looking for it. spectacular day huh we really lucked out the weather is incredible the scenery is incredible and I gotta say the truck is doing better than I thought yeah I'm really impressed and the ride quality has been much better than I thought too we aired down these tires and that independent suspension really comes into its own on these kind of rocky alpine loops because you don't quite need the max articulation of a uh, solid axle out here but having that independent suspension just means that the front end is a lot softer than it would be with a solid axle. Yeah, you know, uh, and uh, you don't see a lot of uh, trucks out here, right? You see a lot of Jeeps, you see a lot of side-by-sides, uh, but not a lot of trucks. I think people don't realize just how capable a full-size truck, especially, you know, with the right tires and enough ground clearance is. Yeah, you know, I also love the fact that uh, we spend the night in the rooftop tent, our roof nest, and that was really good too. You know, I, I have no complaints. Just a little bit taller and we'd run out a ladder, uh, but for the most part, it was really good. Yeah, it's nice being able to sleep off the ground. And this system is good too, because we have the Thule rack system. Yeah. So you can actually still use the bed. Yeah, which so, is cool. Yeah, you can open up the tailgate and you still have a really big area to store stuff in. And you can sit on the tailgate. Uh, so I like the uh, rooftop tents. I like them mounted on trucks because it kind of the best of both worlds, right? It gives you ultimate utility. And if you wanted to, which we didn't, but we could have driven up here and spent the night up here if they allow it. If they allow it. I think that would be a, a long night at 13,000 feet. It would be cold. It would be very cold. But you could do it. You, you could do it. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy, what does Onyx say? How high are we? We are over 13,100 feet above sea level at the summit of Imogene Pass. Yeah, and the cool thing is whether you come up the Ure side or the Telluride side, it's spectacular both ways, right? You've got a shelf road, a ghost town, a river crossing, and wonderful above tree line views. I mean, uh, you could be in the Swiss Alps up here. It's so gorgeous. Now the Silverado Trail Boss performed brilliantly up here. We had not a lot of traction issues, not a lot of ground clearance issues, and even on some of the bigger ledges, we just kind of walked right up them. Yeah, I would use one word to describe it. You know what that is? Red. No. <laughs> What's the Try word? again. <laughs> uh, Chevy. No, I would use surprising, as in it was surprisingly good, right? There's a lot of like, you know, hardcore Jeeps out here and this big old truck with a pretty basic lift, did really well. As always, this is Roman. And Tommy, check out tfltruck.com for the latest and greatest in spectacular off-road reviews. And don't forget to send us an image if you were the first to find our No Pavement Needed t-shirt, and come back next week for another spectacular Colorado mountain pass. Ciao. Now that is, uh, I would say that is at least five Raptors too many going on this very narrow trail. <laughs> Especially the wide-bodied Raptors, oh my god. Two things there. Number one, 
thank God we met those guys at the bottom at the end of Imogene because uh, meeting that many raptors on the shelf road um, it's gonna make somebody very grumpy <laughs> and number two as much as I love the raptor I would say that in my humble opinion Imogene Pass is not ideal raptor territory I mean especially not those wide body V8 whatever they had under the hood those are like hardcore desert runners uh, and uh, I just think guys with all respect you'd be much happier in Baja as opposed to Telluride and God help you if you decide to do bear, black bear.